Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you are new. So for those of you who don't know, I just finished high school about a month ago and I'm currently in that awkward gap between finishing high school and finding out information about university and I've just been spending all of my time staring into the void and just wasting my life. And the reason why I am making this video is because I don't want to do that anymore. I am going absolutely insane without a routine. But yeah, I'm hoping that doing some filming and editing every day will give me a little bit of a routine and put me in a better mindset. And I kind of failed at that already because the video was filmed and edited in January and now it's February because I kind of forgot that it existed. So cute, I forgot you existed by Taylor Swift. We don't actually play it because I'm a broke uni student and don't want to get in legal trouble, so please spare me. So yeah, even though this video is almost a month late, I hope you enjoy it anyway. And to all my fellow high school graduates, first of all, congratulations. And second of all, best of luck with whatever you choose to do in the future. Good morning everyone, so today is Monday the 11th and I'll be taking Coco to the vet today. It isn't an ideal start to the week but the poor baby does have conjunctivitis and we should get her treated as soon as possible. I have actually had a guinea pig with conjunctivitis before so I know that everything should be okay but Coco is actually our friend's guinea pig who we are taking care of while she is stuck overseas due to borders being closed and yeah I will keep you updated about Coco's health in this vlog. So today's outfit of the day is also the mood of the day, I should probably clean my mirror but it says the bags under my eyes are designer and I think it is from Shein. Even though I know that Coco is probably going to be okay, I can't help but worry a lot for her because, you know, my guinea pigs are like my children and when they are in pain, I am also in pain. But yeah, I'll just head off to the vet now and I'll update you all soon. Two hours later. So now Coco and I are back home. The vet gave us some antibacterial eye droplets to give her twice a day and after a few days she should be all good again. I was actually planning on going out to practice driving today because I got my learner's log recently but the weather outside is absolutely insane. If I step foot outside I'm just going to combust and I don't know what I'm going to do now. I might film a video about my tattoo but um, by the time you're watching this the videos will be up and I will have them either linked down in the description box below or I'll have them in the end screen. So we just spent about an hour filming footage for the tattoo video and now I'll just be transferring the files from my camera to my laptop and then I'll go check up on Coco. Today is Tuesday, I'm sorry for all the background noise, there is a lot of construction going on recently, but today is Tuesday, it's just going to be a really simple day, I'm just going to go to work and then do some editing. I am currently volunteering at an op shop, I plan on staying there for the next year or so, so I can get a lot of experience before going to look for a paying job in the fashion retail world. I will get onto it more later because I have to head off to go soon. But I'm also hoping to get some driving in today. 
Even though I passed my learner's test two years ago, I only started properly driving recently because, you know, I'm, I'm a coward. I'm terrified of driving and I just got my prescription sunglasses. I look like a soccer mom who's demanding to speak to the manager. But anyway, I'm just going to head off now and once I get home, I'll start talking more about what I actually do at my job and I'll also be giving a health update on Coco and showing footage of her taking her medicine. As you can see, Coco is getting so much better already and she is taking the medicine really well. She's a very good little piggy. So here are some really well-deserved chin scritches for Coco and also some food for Coco because she is the best and she deserves it. Honestly, now I don't want to move anymore. I just want to give her chin scritches all day, every day, but unfortunately I do have to do a lot of editing and I do need to start preparing for work. And this is today's mood. Okay, but first coffee, because I do need a lot of caffeine to help get me through customer service. I will be throwing a turtleneck over this later because my job does involve carrying lots of heavy things around, so it would be risky to wear short sleeves. So now that I have put on my jumper and my fake positive customer service voice, I will go to volunteer now and I'll talk a bit more about my position and my future plans once I get back. Five hours later. Hey everyone, it is 7pm. I just got back from volunteering and I'm just spending some time with my little cream puff. And I thought I would tell you all what I do and what I plan to do in the future. So at the moment I am volunteering at an op shop. It is just a short train ride away from me. And today I went to a different op shop. It was the same branch but a different location because I was going to do my training there. I already had a training session last week so this week I just did some more of what volunteers usually do, like working behind the counter, sorting stuff out in the back, etc. And I do four hours every shift. Usually I just go in once a week, but because today is for training, tomorrow is just for a regular shift because my manager from the my usual store needs me. I'm sorry if that made no sense, but basically in summary, I'm volunteering at the moment and my plan is to get about a year's experience there. That way it will be easier for me to find a paying job in a fashion retail industry, hopefully by the end of this year or the start of next year. And I'm hoping that it will also be able to give me the opportunity to do more volunteering, preferably overseas. I don't know whether or not that can happen anytime soon due to COVID and everything, but until then I will keep an eye out for volunteering opportunities around me. COVID really has destroyed lots of my plans. I was hoping to go overseas as part of university this year, but you know, safety first. So yeah, now I'm just going to do some more editing for my tattoo video, which should hopefully be up on Friday and give Coho her, her meds. But first I gotta put my little cream puff away so she can eat actual food instead of my shirt. We have to get going. What? We have to get going, sir. I don't want to go. Mike. I know, but it's time to go. I don't want to go. It's time to go. I don't want to go. Sir, it's time to go. Come on, let's go. No, no. Don't do that. No. It's okay. Hey everyone, today is Wednesday and I am just about to head off to volunteer again. But first I have to complete a training thing online. The weird thing is I was actually supposed to complete it before I actually started officially volunteering, but I never received the email, so they just accepted me and told me to go in to start volunteering. So now I'm just going to do the online test, which should take about half an hour. And I'm honestly feeling really nervous, A, because it's a test, I always feel nervous on the test conditions, and B, because our university office come out tomorrow. And I'm also helping my friend take care of her bunny while she is going to Brisbane, so I'll also introduce a bunny later.
many hours later. Hey everyone, I just finished volunteering and got home and got changed. It is still summer here, so it's still really bright for 7 p.m. And my anxiety levels are absolutely skyrocketing because we are going to get our uni office tomorrow. We applied for university in about September or October, so we did have to wait quite a while. And we did our exams in late October and early November to wait for our ATAR release day in December. But yeah, now I'm just chilling with the pets and trying to get my mind off it. And then I'll go film some more for my tattoo video. Today is Thursday, which means that our university offers have officially come out. I just finished giving Coco her medicine, and by the time you're watching this, I have already found out which course I got into. I just thought I'd give a little bit of an explanation first. So basically, the course I'm trying to get into is a double degree in education and arts. And even though I got a high enough ATAR to get in, this course mostly depends on how you went on the Casper test so it provides you with realistic hypothetical scenarios and you have to respond with what you would do if that was to happen to you but if my university didn't accept my answers then I would have to do say an arts degree and wait another year before I can do the test and try to get into education again and once you complete the test you aren't allowed to see your answers again which is why I am really nervous about it because I have literally lost sleep over the answers I gave. You know, I'd just be going out with friends and suddenly my brain would go, hey, remember that answer you gave in the Casper test? Do you think that was the best answer to give? And then I just kind of like stare into the void and contemplate my entire existence. I haven't done any reaction videos before because I just have such a resting bee face. Like, I could be accepted into rocket surgery at Harvard and God himself could fly down from heaven to congratulate me and my face would just be like... Like, I would be really excited, I would be really happy and grateful and everything, but... You know, my face would look so underwhelmed and sometimes it does take a while for me to process good news. Like, if I get accepted, I'd just be like, yeah, cool. But then 10 days later, I'll be like, oh my god, I got accepted, yes! So the uni offers were supposed to come out at 2pm today, but some people got them early for some reason. You know, I just woke up at around 10am and then I got a text from my friend saying that she already got hers. So I just jump out of my bed and check my emails and grab my camera without doing my hair or setting up the background or anything. So the following footage will be a little bit of a mess and the lighting really isn't too good, but... It's my reaction. Good morning everyone, this is the day. So now I'm just going to check my emails to see whether or not I got an offer. If I don't have one now, it'll probably come out at 2 p.m. Okay, so I did get an offer information email, but I'm not sure if that is the actual offer itself or if it just says that it'll come out at 2 p.m. I got it. <laughs> I got the degree in secondary education honours and arts. Oh my god. <laughs>
So today is Friday, it's around midday now and I've just gotten up. I feel like I've been on such a roll this week but today I just kind of plummeted to rock bottom. I woke up and I started crying because the post high school stress was really just hitting me today. And I feel like it's just not talked about enough. When somebody finishes high school, all we see is, you know, yay, I finished high school and partying all day, every day, but nobody talks about how overwhelming it feels. Just a few months ago, I was sitting in a little classroom learning how to do geometry and having to ask someone for permission to go to the toilet. And now I'm expected to make, you know, expensive and important decisions about what I want to do for the next few years of my life. I was originally planning on going for a walk now, but I'm just too on the edge. I know that I'm not capable of dragging myself out for a walk. And sometimes the most productive and helpful thing we can do for ourselves is to just relax for a bit, is to know your limits and to know when you really need a break. So I'm just going to go watch my comfort movie, Birds of Prey, and eat some chocolate and hopefully I'll feel better afterwards because I had lots of editing and filming planned for today. But it's never too late to restart your day and let's hope that things get better. God, I wish I could just be a guinea pig. <laughs> Look how happy she is. Are you happy there, Creamy? Not needing to worry about your future plans or university fees, just eating happily, living your best life. Yeah, that's good. So I just had a small breakfast and got back from a two hour walk. I'm feeling a bit better, but still a bit exhausted as always. And I was originally planning on filming two videos today to give bulk filming a try, but I think I only really have the energy to do one and I'll also do some editing afterwards. Today is Saturday and I am currently impatiently waiting for the brownies to finish and I have been spending the day doing complicated uni enrolment stuff. I feel like the process of enrolment is more stressful than uni itself because we aren't really getting any assistance at all, we're just kind of on our own. But yeah, history is my major because that will be the main subject I'll be focusing on teaching. And my minor is international relations and my elective is politics because I am hoping to become a politics teacher as well. Honestly, my final goal for the moment is to become a year 12 global politics teacher. And so the units I'll be doing in the first semester are international studies, origins of globalization and foundations of modern politics and introduction to international relations and working in education in introduction to the profession. And I think that is all the uni stuff I need to sort out for today because I have already ordered my student ID and sorted out pretty much everything else. So now I'll just wait for the brownies to finish and watch the first episode of One Division. everyone so today is Sunday and hopefully this video will be up in a week or so 
so that was a <laughs> fucking lie. The park is completely empty, so it's really nice to just have this place to myself, just spend some time looking at the ducks and just enjoying the nature. We are in Victoria and masks aren't mandatory anymore, but I like to wear one anyway, just for the extra safety. And yeah, I can't believe it's the end of the week already. I'm not sure what else to add because I just don't really have anything to do today except maybe for some editing. I'm really starting to run out of background music so I'm probably going to make another video compilation and it doesn't do too well on my channel but I still like the music and I still like to believe that it is helpful to some people so I make them anyway. But yeah, January has been treating me surprisingly well lately and I'm hoping that I'm hoping that things can stay as well. May this year be 10 times better than 2020 was. May it be full of success and motivation and self-discovery and love. This will probably be the last bit I film for the vlog. I'm just going to include some editing footage later and of course some footage of Coco taking her medicine. And yeah, I hope you're all going well and have a great week.